Hello friends, so today we are going to talk about the aqua swimmer with its productions and drainage. So let's start. So at first it's a pupil. Pupil. You can see that it is a sclera, outer fibrous coat. And it is the anteriorly uh, projecting transparent cornea. And after that the uveal tract. From the uveal tract there is the iris ciliary body and choroid Achha. what is the pupil pupil is the central aperture of iris the iris in between the central aperture it is called the pupil it controls the amount of light entering the eyes the diameters the diameters of the pupil is 1 to 8 millimeter in diameter Achha. next the muscles the muscles related with pupils there are the two muscles number one sphincter pupilli so sphincter pupilli ki bhabhe asse ekha bhabhe asse sphincter pupilli sphincter pupilli so when this muscle contract tohan when this muscle contract it will causes the constriction of the pupil and there is another muscle that is dilator pupilli dilator pupilli kothe asse ekha nasa chiki dilator pupilli so these are the dilator pupilli muscle So, when the dilator pupillary muscle contract, when the dilator pupillary muscle contract, it causes the dilation of the pupil. So, sphincter pupillary and dilator pupillary. Sphincter pupillary, it is supplied by parasympathetic nerve. It is supplied by parasympathetic nerve of three. Are Dilator pupillae, it is supplied by sympathetic nerve, sympathetic nerve of superior cervical ganglion of superior cervical ganglion. Taleoche, dilator pupillae, arocha, sphincter pupillae. Now, what are the functions of the pupils? Number one. It controls the people it controls the amounts of lights that enters the eyes and number two function it helps in accommodations it increases the depth of the focus particularly for seeing the near objects now let's see this picture so what is this this is the irish this part is the irish it is the sleary body and outer is sclera so sclera ciliary body iris in the ciliary body there are the some processes like finger like projection this is called the ciliary process so in the ciliary process there is the vascular loop so it is the vascular loop of ciliary bodies and these are the epithelium so in the epithelium there are the some pump what is pump sodium potassium pump voltage get it these are the sodium potassium pump so this pump actively secreting sodium ion this pump actively secreting sodium ions into the posterior chambers so when the sodium comes so it causes there will also release of chloride there will also release of chloride and bicarbonate from the cells and from blood vessels and next diffusionly but by diffusions there will become amino acids some glucose some ascorbic acid ascorbic acid it it is antioxidant ascorbic acid and water so these things together are forming the aqueous humor so these things together are forming the aqueous humor so what is what is aqueous humor aqueous humor it is the crystal clear fluid so it is the crystal clear fluid which is secreted by the ciliary processes what are the rate of what are the rate of secretion it is uh, product produced is 2.5 microliter per minute and total capacity is every day 0.3 ml secreted total and the importance uh, Composition of the aqueous humor is sodium ion, chloride ion, bicarbonate ion, 
amino acid glucose ascorbic acids and water these all together forming the aqueous humor which is the crystal clear fluid secreted by the ciliary processes now mechanism of formations it is formed from the ciliary processes by two ways number one which is active process active process it is 80 percent and number two which is passive process the mechanism of action which is two process the two of the formation which is by active process it can also active process a condition to help with this in active process there will be the sodium potassium pump so here will be the sodium potassium pump or voltage gated sodium pump the sodium potassium ATP pump and carbonic anhydrase enzyme so in active process it occurs with a sodium potassium ATP pump and carbonic anhydrase enzyme this is doing the active process and passive process passive process they are the two process that is forming uh, the aqueous humor one is ultra filtration one is ultra filtration and number two is diffusion number two is diffusion so by these two process there is the formations of the aqueous humors now there come the drainage so before drainage i would like to discuss about the chambers anterior chamber posterior chamber and angles so here we see here is the lens so this is the lens this is the ligament suspensory ligament here is the suspensory ligament now in front of the lens and behind the iris there is one space and behind the cornea and in front of the iris there is another space it is called the anterior chamber it is called the posterior chamber now the capacity the capacity of the posterior chamber is 0 0.06 the capacity capacity actor the anterior chamber actor the posterior chamber posterior chamber capacity is 0 0.06 ml and the capacity of the anterior chamber is 0.25 ml so capacity of the anterior chamber is 0.25 ml and the capacity of the posterior chamber is 0 0.06 ml now anterior chamber to the boundary the key anteriorly key as a anteriorly as such a endothelium and it is a endothelium of cornea the anterior is endothelium of cornea posteriorly key as a posteriorly as such a anterior surface of irish anterior surface of irish then pupil and lens then ciliary body and the key ciliary body are uh, laterally laterally key as a laterally as such a angle of anterior chamber so what is the angle of anterior chamber this is the angle of anterior chamber this is the angle of anterior chamber this angle so how this angle is formed part of the iris part of the ciliary body part of the sclera and part of the cornea so these four structure forming together the angle of anterior chamber the angle of anterior chamber it is most important things anterior chamber Achha. So at first from here from the ciliary processes there is the formations of aqueous humor so this is the aqueous humor formations now aqueous humor after formations through the pupil it comes into anterior chambers and from the anterior chamber there are two drainage pathway one is conventional pathway and other is uvo scleral pathway so conventional pathway jeta normal je pathway seta ke bole conventional ba trabecular pathway 90% drainage hoy ei pathway er madhye pathway ta ki ektu dekhe nei so at first anterior chamber from the anterior chamber there is the iridio corneal angle the angle of anterior chamber tale from the anterior chamber there is the angle tale iridio corneal angle then trabecular meshwork eta ki eta hocche trabecular meshwork trabecular meshwork then trabecular meshwork the kotha jabe drain into the canal of canal of schlem s c h l e m m so from the anterior chamber angle uh, i did corneal angle then trabecular meshwork then canal of schlem then from the canal of schlem 
it will drain into the channel it is called the collector channel so from the canal of slim there will be the drain into the collector channel then from the collector channel there is the aqueous vein there is aqueous vein aqueous vein drains into it it is sclera there is ap sclera it is the ap sclera so aqueous vein aqueous vein drains into ap scleral vein aqueous vein drains into ap scleral vein and from the ap scleral vein there will be the from the ap scleral vein there will be the drainage of large extraocular vein and large extraocular vein and ophthalmic vein both superiorly and inferiorly so it is the inferior ophthalmic vein the ophthalmic vein from the ophthalmic vein these drains into cavernous sinus these drains into cavernous sinus tale to dekha jay at first anterior chamber आईडी टू कॉर्नियल एंगल, ट्रैवेकुलर मिश्रण, कैनल ऑफ स्लेम, कलेक्टर चैनल, देन होते हैं, एक्वास वेन, फ्रॉम द एक्वास वेन, एपी स्क्लेरल वेन, एपी स्क्लेरल वेन, एपी स्क्लेरल वेन थे के, लार्ज एक्स्ट्राकुलर वेन, लार्ज एक्स्ट्रा ओकुलर वेन, लार्ज एक्स्ट्राकुलर वेन थे के ऑफ then from the superior ophthalmic vein same as the inferior ophthalmic vein both together drains into the cavernous sinus and from the cavernous sinus these things drain into the systemic vein so this is the drainage pathway conventional drainage pathway it occurs about 90 percent now there is one additional drainage pathway that is called the uvo scleral pathway that is called uvo scleral pathway it occurs about 10 percent cases so what is that pathway from the anterior chambers it goes diffusely into the ciliary body so from the anterior chamber there is ciliary body from the ciliary body here is the ciliaris muscle the ciliary body ciliaris muscles then go to the choroid diffusely from the anterior chamber ciliary body ciliaris muscle go to the choroid and from the choroid there is the suprachoroidal space goes to the suprachoroidal space then scleral venous network from there suprachoroidal space scleral venous network and from there episcleral vein episcleral vein take a ophthalmic vein uh, cavernous sinus this is the uveal scleral pathway from the uveal tract to the sclera so this is the additional pathway now what is the functions of this aqueous humor so aqueous humor function the key number one this fluid maintain the intraocular pressures so number one function key maintaining intraocular pressure number two it supply nourishment to the lens and cornea as both are avascular so it supply nourishments number three it maintain the optical transparency it, it as it is a crystal clear fluid so it maintains the optical transparency so that light can cam light can comes in and it takes place of the lymph that is absent in the eye so it takes place it takes the place of lymph so friend here was some discussions about the aqueous humors its production and drainage so hope you like it thank you all